Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley and today I'm going to talk to you about an Alford plea. What the heck is that? An Alford plea in criminal proceedings is when you plead guilty, but you're really doing it in your best interest. Why? Because maybe the evidence, the facts could result in a criminal conviction. So you can plead guilty in your best interest, an Alford plea, and go forward still maintaining your innocence. Now, what's important about that? Let's say you had a criminal case and you pled guilty in Alfred plea, not a no contest plea, there's a difference and I'll explain. An Alfred plea and the person, the victim in a case decided to sue you. Well, if they decided to sue you, the fact that you made a guilty plea could be brought in versus a no contest plea which is saying, eh, I'm not saying I did it, I'm not saying I didn't do it, um, but I, I'm prepared to go forward to avoid you know, a trial and a possible conviction and that kind of thing. So someone who pleads guilty through an Alfred plea maintains their innocence, but they're willing to take the punishment that they would get um, you know, possibly if convicted. So it's important to know, right, when you first hire an attorney or you first go to court, you plead not guilty, right? You receive discovery. If you decide to take a plea bargain, um, depending on which jurisdiction in Florida, sometimes you'll plead no contest, like for instance, in Fort Lauderdale or Martin County or St. Lucie, they'll take no contest pleas. Not saying I did it, not saying I didn't do it, but a plea of convenience. And in places like, let's say in Palm Beach, um, where they require you plead guilty, you can also plead guilty through an Alfred plea. So if you didn't know, now you know, hopefully that explains Alfred plea a little bit more. You can also Google and find out about the big case. I think it's North Carolina case or whatever. Um, but anyway, if you didn't know, now you know. I'm attorney Roger P. Foley. Have a wonderful day. See ya.